Okay, I'm here with Jack at the Canon stand, and we're going to talk about stuff that's launched, but is exciting, and I think a lot of people are interested in, buzzing about, so this is the Canon C80. What, what does this mean for Canon? Um, well, it's the second key cinema product we've launched this year. Obviously, we started with the EOS C400 early in the year, which people were really, really excited about. It had been a while since we'd launched something in the cinema EOS range, previous to that being the R5C. Um, I think where, what makes the C80 really exciting is it's having that full-frame 6K sensor in a compact form factor, that very similar style to the C70, which was very popular to the users. Um, looking forward to the additions we've made, as I said, 6K full-frame sensor, backside illuminator technology, which gives it that 16 stops dynamic range, also featuring a 12G SDI output as well, which a lot of people were asking for, so we've listened and it has been added. Um, I think on the tech points though, obviously everyone's seeing the specs are out there. People will be dissecting that and uh, either getting excited or getting cross. There's, it's only one of the two. Always the way I yep. think. Is but it? I think it's interesting because the C70 is still out there and it's still a job in camera. People are still using it, people are still buying it. Yep. So where does this sit? next to the C70. Yeah, so it sits very close alongside it. There's obviously the differences mentioning the six, the slightly higher resolution. Um, doesn't have the DGO sensor that the C70 has, but it also has, as I said, the BSI sensor technology, which does still give you that improved dynamic range. Still very popular cameras. This does, again, have the um, output terminal of the 12G SDI, which will benefit a lot more people working maybe with more rigged base settings and things like that. So it will be used in a lot of the same places. I think the other benefit of this one is the uh, the triple base ISO. There's going to be a lot of people who are... Uh, Absolutely. And I think that that is the balance that I've heard. And I've watched a lot of uh, tech videos where they're just dissecting, you know, what is the benefit of this over the C400? What is the benefit of this over the C70? And what are the drawbacks? And everyone seems to be coming back to, it's just the DJO sensor in the full frame. Exactly. Pretty much that 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 is it, and we're not really losing much dynamic range. No, uh, not at all. Really. So it is still around the same. Um, I'd say the the figures we have for this is 16 stops, and the DGO is 16 plus stops. So it is very close. Obviously, with the full frame, there is with having to use that new technology to help with those lowering up situations. Absolutely, but you're gaining the full frame, and you're gaining the ability to shoot at some crazy. Crazy ISO. It's insane. The tests we did with them, um, I'll, I'll be honest, when you see that we got a triple base ISO, especially at 12,800, that can really be pushed when you see how well it actually works, it was staggering. I, I, I did think, well, not to be doubtful, but it was a lot better than I thought it was as well. Really, really good. Yeah. Finally, actually, a viable camera to be able to do that and uh, not compromise too much, which is great. So. I'm going to ask one more question, which is a little bit more of an industry question because we seem to be in a bit of a changing state at the moment. There's a lot of things that are happening with other brands and just generally within the industry and how people are working. How do you think Canon going forwards are positioning themselves? Because your pricing has been lower than it traditionally has. The cameras are offering more than perhaps they traditionally would have for the same part of the segment that this is in. So what does this mean? You're being more aggressive. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say aggressive is the right word. I think it's analyzing the industry, what people need and what people are looking for. Obviously, as a business, the ultimate goal at the top, they say, is, is to make money. But to do that, you have to keep your customers happy. So we need to provide the best equipment for those and at a price that everyone is comfortable paying for the product as well. So not just with the C400 and the C80, but if you look at the innovations we've made in our RF mount hybrid cameras, such as the R1 and R5 Mark II that's come out, we're, we're trying to offer the best quality to our customers for the best price point. Excellent. And maybe there are more products coming uh, within the lineup. Well, I can uh, never say. I can never say, but uh, we'll have to see. Just keep an eye out. That's all we'll I'll have say. To see. We'll have to see. That might be a hint. It might not. <laughs> we couldn't possibly say whether C is a hint, but uh, I'll take it as one. Thank you very much, Jack, for taking the time to talk me through this. And we're going to be walking the floor at IBC, checking out some more news and reviews for DIY photography. But for now, I'm going to say thank you and uh, pleasure meeting you. Pleasure. Have a good one. Thank you. You too. Cheers.